Hey guys, welcome back. So I'm going to go over two new tools in this video that we haven't used yet. And we're still continuing with our editing as far as removing content out. And I showed you the, not necessarily the harder ways to do things, but I showed you the, the analog or manual ways with the, um, the spot healing brush tool, the healing brush tool, and the clone stamp tool, which are perfectly viable to make these types of edits. But in the cases where you have rather large things that you want to edit out, or maybe you want to add in specific things without taking all of the time to go about sourcing an area and then clicking and then sourcing and then clicking, I'll show you two tools now that we can use that can help speed things up. But I would still always suggest coming back in with those smaller adjustment tools like the clone stamp and the healing brush tool, just to make sure that things look um, nice and square and, and aren't showing you know editing lines and things like that so i have this image right here and let's just say for example let's just say i want to take one of these birds and i'm just going to edit it out completely now i could take the clone stamp tool and sample the background and then click and right so i could do that um, but we've got a little bit of a gradient here so that could be you know it could be a little splotchy and um you know if we just want to do this more quickly here i can show you the patch tool here. So if we come to the same area where the spot healing and the healing brush tool are, we have these two tools, patch tool and content aware move tool. We're going to start with the patch tool here. And with this image, I'm going to go ahead and click to unlock this. And I'm just going to duplicate it so I have an extra layer right here. So make sure you're on the top layer. And across the top, we have some settings here. And we know what these are. So we have our new selection or add to selection, subtract from selection, and intersect. So we'll keep that on new selection here. And for the moment, we'll just keep this on content aware. And structure and color, I'll talk more about those when we get into the content aware move tool. Um, because with the patch tool here, with an image that's as um, easy to work with as this, we don't really have to mess with anything right there. It's just a simple edit out here in Photoshop by keeping it on content aware, we'll recognize the gradient here and fill that in. So let's just say this bird right here, I'm going to click and it works just like the lasso tool. So let's just make a selection of this bird. And we have that selection. And then we'll just simply click and then we'll just drag this down. Now we can see this works just like the clone stamp tool. Everywhere I'm moving, it's using the source, right? It's using where I'm moving to, and it's gonna fill that into this image here. So it's kind of like the, the opposite of the clone stamp tool where this is the target area, but everywhere else I'm moving will be used to sample inside of this here. So we can see, I'll move this down here and I'll just release that. And then we can see it edited out that bird right there. And then one feature, one shortcut that I haven't really been using much with you guys is the command H key. Now, if it's the first time you're using it, it'll ask you, do you want this to hide Photoshop or do you want this to hide the selection and the extras? Um, select the extras there. So command H will basically just hide that selection, right? And then command H will bring it back versus command D, which just unselects it. So you don't have it at all. Command H will just unselect it so you could zoom in and look and see where if there are edit lines or things that you could um, fix back up and then command H to bring that back. So like I said with the patch tool in this image there's nothing really that needs to be fixed here right this this looks pretty good. So I'm going to command Z to bring this bird back and now I'm going to show you the content aware move tool. And this is where things like structure and color can come into play. So I'll just show you here. Let's keep this on mode for the moment. Extend, I, you're, I never really use that often, but I'll show you what that does here in a moment. But we'll keep this on move. And we're on our top layer here. And just like the patch tool and just like the lasso tool, oops, I have that selected. Um, let's make sure we're content aware tool. And then I'm going to click and drag around so it works just like the lasso tool. So I click and drag. That gives me my selection. And then now I'm going to click and hold and I'm just going to move this down here. We want to take that bird out of formation. So when I release, and hit OK, it takes out that bird from there and then it moves it in right here, right? And I'm going to hit Command-H to remove that selection. 
just to hide it. And I can see it moved the bird just fine, but it sampled some of that color and it tried to do its best here to integrate it into the, the, this predominant pink that's around here. So this is where these structure and color uh, adjustments can come into play. So recall, I just hit Command H to hide that selection. And the nice thing is, is once the, even though the selection is hidden, I can still make changes to what's happening right here. So notice the structure's on one, the color's at zero, okay? So when we play with the structure, we'll see that this bird, if it, if it does it, that was a pretty good selection as it were, right? But essentially the structure is, oh, I lost it there. The structure is how closely that the pixels are going to um, display the actual, the, the bird itself, right? It's not really a color adjustment, it's, it's, well, the structure, right? So we can see as I'm adjusting this slider up, the shape of that bird is changing a bit, right? If I have that all the way down, we see it's not quite that fully formed structure of the bird that was from up here, right? It's taken some liberties and it's not quite retaining the shape that I want it to. So if it's all the way up, that bird is gonna be closest to the original shape that it was. So generally you would wanna have that structure up pretty high, but I think the best way to go about this is to keep the structure low and then adjust it up until that bird shape doesn't change any longer. So here we have, right, so I would say, I don't know, three or four would probably be about right. And then we'll come into the color adjustment and this goes all the way up to 10. So the higher this is, the more it's gonna try to blend that color into the target area that you, that you put it. So I'm going up and up. Okay, I, I'm lagging a little bit there. I don't know if I need to be up on 10, but then we can see that that color has matched itself in pretty well. Oh, let me go up a little bit more. Okay, and then here we can zoom out and, and that looks pretty good. So again, if we wanted to, let's move this guy. Let's move him down and the same thing. So my structure's on four, my color is at nine. Let me hit accept there. That should look, and then I'm gonna command H, and that looks pretty good, right? So for the most part, I would just, I would keep the structure and color down, and then once you've moved it, you can command H to hide those marching ants, and then you can make those adjustments as you need, right? Okay. So that's a, a quick way to go about moving things like that. Okay, and then now we're gonna jump to this image here and I'm gonna have you work on this one a little bit and using the tools that we've just gone over, plus using your healing and clone stamp tools, we're gonna to do a few things to this image here. So I've already kind of worked on this a little bit. So in this image, I've taken out, so I've, I've taken out the windmill, I've taken out this post right here, I've moved the horse here over, and then I've taken out a horse right here as well. So just using the patch and the content aware tool first, let's go ahead and on our background image here, let's just go ahead and let's just see how this works with the content aware move tool. So we have this horse here and I just wanna move him over here to the left. So I'm gonna get onto my, make sure I'm on my content aware tool and here I'll I mean, you could leave the structure and the color at whatever you wanted. I just tend to put it down to the bottom. And I don't want sample all layers because I just want to work on this background. Now, let me just unlock that. So I'm on layer zero. Layer one is the one that I was working on, but layer zero here. And we're just gonna, we're gonna click and we'll just see what this looks like with just a quick, just a quick selection there. So I, I have my horse here, and then I'm just gonna move him this way. And here's where we try to make sure we're lining up that grass, right? That's in the background there. We, we don't wanna make, we don't wanna come up too high like that where it looks uneven. So line up the edges of that grass so it's a nice horizontal. And we'll just, we'll hit okay and we'll just see what this looks like. So it's gonna to try to fill in what it thinks is there. 
And then this is where we may want to do some adjustments here if this isn't looking okay. But here in the background, right, we may want to come in with the, with, this is where coming in with the smaller clone stamp tool or the healing brush tool could add in some, some more grass and some texture here. We can see on the back of the horse here, some of his butt got a little bit, right, it's not quite there. So here's where we would want to turn that structure up a little bit. Okay, so now there we go, it's popped in there. So back in this area here, we can see it's a little bit blurry here. And this is where I would take the, let's see, I would take the clone stamp tool and I would maybe come in and see if I needed to try and repair some of this. And that would be maybe taking some samples. You know, it's gotten a little bit blurry down in here. Some of this grass is been, been blurred out just a little bit. So that's where you could make some adjustments there. I'm not going to spend too much time on that there. And then, so that was, we move, we used the content aware move tool there, but now we're going to go back to the patch tool. And let's say we're going to, we're going to take out this horse right here. So let's go ahead and make a selection. Use the patch tool here. And I'm staying fairly close to the horse. I'm not, I'm not going too far out. Okay, so there we go there. And then I don't have too much room on either side of him. If I try to click and move, we'll see that once I get to this point here, the horse's, that horse's head starts to come into that selection there. So I'm just gonna move all the way over here. And again, I'm checking my horizon line and I'm making sure my horizon line is matching up with that grass in the background. And then also notice right here, if you follow my red tracker here, right here there's a little bit of this darker, taller, greener grass that's underneath. So I'm actually coming over here to sample and I'm kind of looking at the top of my sample there and lining things up and I'm lining up that horizon line in the back till I get something that kind of moves, flows together. So something like, like that I would say, close to it. And then I can Command H to hide that selection, and that looks pretty good. Right? I can come in and I can see there's maybe a little bit of blurring here and there. And again, this is where I would come to the clone stamp tool or the healing tool. And here I would option click and I would just do a little bit of work to make this a bit seamless and kind of get rid of some of those editing lines. So when we move out, that looks pretty good right there. Okay, and then in the background here, let's say we have this windmill and this post that I want to get out. And I'll just show you a couple, I'll show you a couple ways to do it. But the first way is I would take our, oh, wrong tool, I would take our patch tool and let's say I want to just get this windmill out of here. So here's where I would come in and I would try to keep a selection fairly close. Okay. Come down here a bit. And this will definitely need some cleanup after, after we're done, but I'll show you a few ways to do it. Okay. Okay, so there's my selection there. Now I'm gonna switch this to normal just because I, I don't want it to try to blend anything. I just want the I just want the, the background, right? If I have it on content aware, it may try to pick up some of the other information like the trees or anything like that. So I just want to sample this this sky. Okay. Um not too bad. It did okay here. Right. The other thing to note is that if I do have it on normal, here I can do two different things. I can select destination, which will basically just copy it, and then I can I can put that in, right? Or I'm going to undo that. Or source, which is basically what removing it. But like I said, I put it to normal because 
there are some things in close proximity here that it may try to it may try to pull in and make that look like there's trees there or something. So I put that to normal and now let's So command H. So it's not bad. There's a little bit of cleanup in here that could happen, right? And I'll I'll just I'll leave that on you to to do. And here's where we could come in with the clone stamp tool, and we could make some make some adjustments here. And I'll show you one more feature that you can you can use with the clone stamp tool that I didn't show you before is so say for example we want to we want to get rid of some of this here well actually well, that kind of looks okay right there but if let's just say you were you were shaping and let's say I take a sample there and notice you know it takes that direct sample but if I'm trying to do something over here and you know I don't and I want to rotate this sample so it 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 turns to match that the vertical part of the tree right here, what you can do here is you can go up to window and you can go to clone source and this will bring up a, a window on the side. But this right here, the rotation, right? So notice, notice what this sample looks like right here. If I come in and I change this to negative 30 or something. Now look at my, my sampled image right there, right? So it turned a bit, so if I wanted to make this, if I wanted to shape the perimeter of this tree, I could make some adjustments here, and, and if I wanted to take a sample image and keep and rotating it, I could do that if I didn't have a, a source that was at the angle that I wanted. So you can do that there, and there's some other, some other presets here that I haven't really messed with too much. So we've got a little bit of that orange of that windmill propeller kind of in the background there. So here we could, um, I'll just keep my clone stamp tool and I'll just use that there and get rid of that. Okay. And then this post, if we wanted to remove this post here, uh, same thing. I would go to the patch tool and I'm going to make another selection. I'm staying fairly close. Okay, I'm gonna, let's go this way. There we go, this is better. So again, look at the grass, look at where things are lining up. We wanna try to make this make sense, but you're still more than likely gonna have to come in and make some adjustments with, let me hide that. So that looks okay, it doesn't look bad. If I get in really close, I can probably tell that there's some things that I might wanna fix. and. And we would come in and use the clone stamp tool to repair and fix some of this. But remember, the clone stamp tool, if you want to reset this angle, so if I take a sample here, it's still at that 45 angle. So this little arrow right here will reset that back to uh, a proper degree. And this is where you may have to come in and do some, just some, some detail work here and kind of clean up some of what's happening. And that doesn't look too good there, but. Okay, so I kind of did this quickly. I wasn't really finessing a lot of this, but I'd like you to go through and make these changes. So just move the horse over, take out that horse on the far left, and then remove these elements here in the background. And I'm seeing, I'm seeing just a tiny bit right here where it's a little bit lighter, where I think it, it didn't quite blend in with the sky here. So that could have been, I could have made a better selection there, but what I can do now is I can just come to my healing brush tool and I can, I'll take a sample here and I'll just, I'll kind of just manually comb through this and I think that, oh, I think that's worked okay there. Okay, so go ahead and take your time with these two tools and play around and again, use them together in conjunction with the spot healing, healing and clone stamp tool and see if we can get this image to, uh, to look seamless, right? We want to try to make sure this all looks good.